Hello, hello. Welcome back to Whiskey With E. I'm Eric. Now today, not a whiskey with or without the E, but it is involved. Without further ado, craft beer review number 117. We have another product from Boat Rocker. So this is Roger Ramjet. This is a Buffalo Trace bourbon barrel aged Imperial Stout coming in at 10.6%. Right there. Look at that. Look at that. Alrighty, so there's not much that says anything about this on the can. I mean, it says certified independent. And it says, made by Boat Rocker Brewers and Distillers, 51 and 34 Macbeth Street, Braeside, Australia, 3195. If you want to check out information about them, www.boatrocker.com.au. All right, so this contains 3.1 standard drinks, like I said, 10.6% ABV. Now, this isn't as transparent as the last can that we had, I mean, from, from Slow Land Brewing. They actually were very transparent about what malts they used and all that. Now, this just simply says contains water, barley, malt, wheat, hops, yeast. If you don't believe me, it just says it right there. Alrighty, so here in Australia, this retails for roughly $26 to $30, depending on where you get it. So, it is up there. But, as you know, here in Australia, price really does determine, you know, the higher the strength, maybe the more quality it is, the more expensive it is, the more better it is, theoretically speaking. So, you know what? I have very high expectations for this. Let's just get right into it. All right, here we go. The psk test. Here we go. Beauty. Beautiful. All right. I'm going to try out this little glass right here. May as well. So, now it says that they sourced first use. Like So, pretty much, it just means first fuel barrels, I'm, I'm assuming. So first fill barrels of Buffalo Trace and Heaven Hill barrels from America. And then they filled it up with their base of the Ramjet. All right. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Carbonation. It is a slow carbonation. But as expected with uh, Imperial Stouts. Stouts per se. I mean, I could even add some more into that. But there we go. Color, that is jet black as expected. I mean, oh my goodness, look at that. Head, you're not expecting much of a head on Imperial Stouts, but it is a nice cream off tan, you know, like a like a coffee when you're getting like an espresso, that light tan, light brown color. Oh my goodness. But you know what? It's all about the nose. It's all about the taste. Let's get right into it. So I don't know if I mentioned, they aged this for 12 months in the Buffalo Trace barrels. So I'm really hoping that bourbon influence is going to be coming through. Let's just get right into it. Oh, yep. Beautiful. Typical Imperial Stout nose. You're getting that vanilla. You're getting that bourbon -ness quality. Every now and then I describe it like a, a slight cider note or something like that, but the vanilla, the caramel is really popping in this. I mean, you are getting a hops kind of vibe, but it is balanced out with all those dark, dark notes. Oh my goodness. You know what? All right, the head's starting to go down already, but I'm just going to get... I'm just going to start drinking some of this down, guys. I'm, you know, I have bought this weeks ago, guys. I bought this many weeks ago. I've been really wanting to try it for you guys. And I figured, you know what, today's the day. So, um, without further ado, I'm just going to get right into it. Cheers, everyone. Drink responsibly. Who's tried it? Let me know in the comments. Alrighty, so here we go. Mmm. Mm. 
as expected, as expected, all the flavors are all there. It is full bodied, but oh my goodness, this is just, you know, when you have a good Imperial Stout, guys, nothing better than just to just keep feeling that long finish continue, you know, not, uh, this is why I say a good Stout has to start at least over 10%. If you're trying any stouts that is under, under 5%, anything like that, Guinness, that's just way too watery. You're not getting nothing. You're not getting none of this kind of beautiful vibes. Oh my goodness. Uh, I do enjoy this. I am enjoying this actually. But personally, I think, I'm thinking... Ramjet, the uh, the 2022 Starwood Barrels, maybe was a little bit more interesting. But, I mean, you're never going to know unless you blind them both and figure out which one you're going to go for. But, let's have a look at the lacing. Alright. Alrighty, so look at that. Look at that. Hmm. See how the carbonation just keeps coming up? That's beautiful. All right, I'm going to have some more, but oh my goodness. You know, you're getting that slight chocolate. Like I said, that bourbon barrel is coming through, so you're getting the vanilla. You're getting that slight caramel. Slight oak kind of vibe, but it's just what a good Imperial Stout should be. Now, do I... Do I wish this was a little bit stronger? We all wish that it is a bit stronger, but is it good as it is? It is good. It's nice. I, I, I have nothing bad to say about this, to be perfectly honest, apart from I wish it was stronger. But I mean, at 10 point, <clears throat> what was it? 10.6, 10.6, 10 10.6% ABV. It's holding its form. It's full bodied. You know, it's not boring. Nothing worse than a boring, watery stout, right? So, you know what? I'm happy. But, uh, like I said, the price of this retails roughly $26 to $30, depending on where you go. So, you know, that can be debated if it's worth your money or not. But, like I say, sometimes you have to pay that little bit extra just to get that better experience. You know, may as well give it a try, right? I just like the way that lacing is holding its form. Look at that. Uh, all right, I'm going to have some more. Cheers, everyone. Oh, my goodness. Not much of the carbon, you know, it's not, it's not like a silky kind of um, carbonation, you know, when you're going through. It just kind of just rolls through. Almost, almost syrupy. But... That's what we enjoy about higher strength stouts, imperial stouts. It's just thick. It's just syrupy. It's just full of flavor. And you know what? I'm loving this. Oh, I almost dropped it. Spilt some. Oh, my goodness. All right, let, let's get this down before any catastrophic events occur. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Mm. Mm. Slight coffee vibes, but not really, not really. That That's really pickish, pedantically, but, you know, you probably won't even pick out that coffee. Let's just say Imperial Stout vibes all the way, vanilla shining through, that bourbon barrel is doing its magic. Like I said, they used first fill so pretty much, the the barrels was filled with Buffalo Trace. I mean, they sourced Buffalo Trace and Heaven Hill barrels. So, actually, isn't Buffalo Trace Heaven Hill? <laughs> there you go. Meant to be a bourbon guy, too. Wait, this is why I bought it in the first place, because I love my bourbons. Now, here in Australia, obviously, our Buffalo Trace is only at 40% ABV, so... I really don't like Buffalo Trace in general here in Australia. I understand in the States, people go all crazy, 
hunting for Buffalo Trace bottles like it's a rare thing or something. But I understand maybe some things are allocated, but I think it's just overrated, guys. It's just purely the, the Buffalo Trace thing, you know? If anything, you'd be wanting to source out those antique collection ones. But anyways, back to the beer. Let's just say Buffalo Trace here in Australia, very terrible, 40%. America a bit higher, but we're using the barrels that they've sent over. So I'm not sure if it's uh, It just must be Buffalo Trace barrels in but Man, I'm just really curious. What 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 was filled in the barrels? I, I understand Buffalo Trace barrels, but There's that many Buffalo Trace products. I'm actually curious of what Buffalo Trace barrels it was But anyways, that's just me thinking way too deep Let's just say I appreciate the, um, you know, connecting with the bourbon lover, the beer lover. If, you know, everything is a journey all together, guys. If you're in your whiskey journey and you start venturing into your craft beer journey, the worlds are going to entwine. You know, you, you're going you're gonna to see a, a beautiful craft beer and then you're going to look at it and think, wow, Buffalo Trace bourbon barrels. You know, especially if you enjoy your bourbon, if you're a Buffalo Trace fan, then this is probably going to scream out to you, buy me now, buy me now, <laughs> empty your wallet, <laughs> let's be broke together, but enjoy this beer. So that's what pretty much happened. Um, let's just say I'm enjoying this. I have nothing bad to say about it. Do I recommend this? Yes, I recommend this. I mean, what would I even give this? See, that, I, I don't like to score things, guys. It, it's just really not, you know, like a, like an ethical, th I mean, it is ethical. Like, you know, it can give you a, a base rate of what I feel about it. So, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Like, what would you do? Like what? If it's out of five, you'd be like, 4.4. 4.4 4 out of 5. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not mind-blowing, but it is good. Obviously, because of everything else in Australia is, you know, everything's pricey. So when you go and buy something and you're like, oh, yes, a stout. Now, if it's under that $20 ratio, you're not going to get this full-bodied uh, Imperial Stout vibes. I mean... But there is some some things that can be like this. What was it called? I'm going to have to think about it. You might have to look back on the past reviews. I think it's like Fox Hat or something like that. They're more of the cheaper range, Imperial Stouts. But I just had to get this, guys, purely because the Buffalo Trace. The Buffalo Trace barrels. We had to try. Oh, dear. We are going on to 14 minutes. You know what? I've said all I've had to say. I'm just going to be repeating myself from now. So, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you have tried this product from Boat Rocker. Now, keep in mind, I only just bought this not too long ago. So, maybe you can look at this as 2022 or 2023 release. I think in the past, maybe they had this in bottles. I don't know. I didn't see this in bottles or anything. I've seen this as a can. So... There you go. Take that as it is. I don't know. Maybe each batch varies. But this one, not bad, guys. So if you see this and you are curious of how this is tasting, I hope I kind of put it out there. I mean, it is good. It is good. I'm going to have another one. Mm. As expected right now, that carbonation, it's really dying off. It's starting to have this, it's going flat vibes. But other than that, all the flavors are still there. Mm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Not too bitter. Very easy drinking. I mean, 10.6%. It's 
It's a beautiful beer. All right, I'm just going to be repeating myself. I'm out of here. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you all next time. Cheers all.